Good afternoon. The Joint Special Representative, Mr. Lakhdar Brahimi, will deliver some brief remarks and will take some questions. Like yesterday, please make your questions short and let's have some order. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, Corinne. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Today, we've had a meeting with the two parties together in the morning and a meeting with uh, each side alone in the afternoon. Uh, we find that this manner of uh, bringing the two parties together uh, and then from time to time, uh, or even more often than that, speaking to the parties separately is very useful. When I meet uh, the parties together, they, I don't have a chance to, uh, to discuss with each party alone uh, their positions, their aspirations, and also their worries. So I think it's very useful to do that uh, in separate meetings, and it definitely has been useful today. Tomorrow we'll meet in the morning uh, with the two parties together in the same room. They will be doing most of the talking to one, to one another through me. Uh, and most probably in the afternoon, I'll see them separately again. Uh, in the morning, we have discussed uh, humanitarian issues. We talked a great deal about hummus. Uh, you know that the, uh, uh, the, the, the center of the city has been under siege for a very, very long time. And uh, now I hope that we are approaching uh, a solution for at least the civilians. What we have been told by the government side is that uh, women and children in this besieged area uh, in the old city are welcome to leave immediately. And the other civilians are also welcome to leave, but uh, the government needs a list of their names first. So uh, we are going to inform our people in Damascus, uh, or we have already informed them uh, about this. So hopefully, starting tomorrow, women and children will be able to leave central, uh, central uh, the old city in, uh, in Homs. And I hope that uh, the rest of the civilians will be able to leave soon after that. Uh, the uh, uh, country team of the United Nations uh, have been discussing with the governor of Homs uh, about uh, humanitarian aid to be sent uh, to uh, the old city in Homs. Convoy is ready. And the governor was supposed to discuss that with his advisors and also with Damascus. And there again, we hope that uh, something will happen uh, tomorrow. Yeah, say Monday. On uh, the detainees, prisoners, uh, people who have been kidnapped. We also had uh, quite a long discussion. Uh, as you know, irrelevant of the discussions between the two parties, we have been appealing to the government to release uh, women, uh, children, and the aged that are in detention. Uh, it has been, uh, I think, uh, the government has asked the opposition to give them a list of the people that are in detention in the hands of the various armed groups. And uh, the opposition 
have agreed that they will try and collect the, the lists that have been asked uh, from those organizations they, they, they have uh, authority over or contacts with. So these are things that are, we, we will hopefully uh, follow uh, on. Uh, so these are, uh, you know, briefly uh, what has happened today, and I will answer two or three questions. Thank you. Thank you. We'll start with the Gordon Martin, please. Sir, uh, Gordon Martin, Vatican Radio. Gordon Martin, Vatican Radio. Uh, after these face-to-face -face meetings, sir, uh, this may be early days to ask this question, but do you feel more confident that eventually this may lead to a peaceful, negotiated solution to the whole Syrian crisis? Thank you. No? Uh, you know, I, I think I said yesterday or the day before yesterday that we have gone into this with our eyes wide open. Uh, it, it's extremely difficult, complicated. The situation in Syria has been going from bad to worse for a very, very long time. And it's still, that situation is still there. Uh, so, you know, to, 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 to bring Syria out of the ditch in which it has fallen will take time. Uh, that is why, you know, I told uh, the people today that uh, uh, I am often accused of being too slow. But I think that being slow is a, a better way of going fast than precipitation. Uh, we, you know, if, if you uh, run, uh, you may uh, gain one hour and lose one week. So, you know, we are going slow. We, I hope that we will continue to be going slow. So far, I think that the process is continuing, but it's very early days. Yes, Habib, please speak in the microphone, please. Habib Salman. Habib Salman from Syrian Television. Uh, thank uh, you, Mr. Brahimi, for your efforts uh, to solve uh, the crisis in Syria that we call aggression. You spoke uh, of humanitarian assistance. How will this assistance reach the people while uh, there are people attacking the roads? Uh, you also spoke of uh, detainees. Uh, Mohammed Saeed, uh, a journalist, will he come back to the Syrian TV? Also, the opposition speaks, uh, says that it has no lists. Where are the figures being uh, broadcast on media coming from? Thank you. Mr. El Ibrahimi, your questions are legitimate, no doubt, in your opinion. I did not speak today uh, except about Homs. As far as Homs is concerned, there is an agreement now from the armed uh, groups uh, in the inside not to attack an assistance convoy entering Homs. In other areas, yes, you are right. There are many problems. And our brothers of the United Nations, uh, of the International Red Cross, and uh, civil society organizations, Syrian and international working on the ground are facing many problems. There is no doubt. As for lists, I don't know what numbers you are referring to. The opposition brothers said that they will 
uh, bring uh, names. It is well known there are various groups and that they will group the names and uh, present them to us. Thank you. Uh, thank you for taking my question. I'm Hiro Maegawa from Asashimu, Japanese newspaper based in Geneva. Uh, uh, Dr. Brafimi, just one clarification. As you said, you said that the, the, the civilians, the men, I'm sorry, the women and children are hopefully leaving the besieged area from tomorrow. But in the first place, why, why the Syrian government is asking you to, to provide a list apparently for the men? What's the reason for that? And secondly, about what you just said, you said being slow is better. Do you have any idea of a timeline of which this negotiation would round up? Just a broad idea. Thank you. You know, I think I was very clear. I said that the government are saying that women and children can leave any time from now on. That's what I said. I, don't, I didn't say that they are leaving or they have left. The government is saying that women and children can leave all the city of, Damask of uh, Homs uh, whenever they wish. They are asking for the lists of civilians so that uh, you know, they see that they are civilians and not uh, armed people. Uh, what is it? The second question is what I said. About, about the timeline, sir. Uh, timeline again, uh, yeah. You know, I, you know, I didn't say that going slow is great. Uh, you know, uh, what I'm saying is that you know, be careful. Don't don't run before you can walk. Uh, and we are just learning to walk. Uh, that, that's all. Timeline too early to speak of a timeline. Our timeline is tomorrow now. Thank you. Dubai TV. Yeah. Uh, Mohammed Al Musi from Dubai TV. Mr. Ibrahimi, you said that assistant convoys will leave tomorrow, Monday, to Homs. Today, Umran al Zabi, the uh, Minister of Information, said that no convoy will move until arrangements are made to guarantee the safety of the convoys, as he said. Uh, the opposition also said they will guarantee these convoys. Have you received guarantees from both parties uh, for safe passage? to the convoys. Yes, sir, tomorrow you will start political negotiations, which is the main objective of this conference. Will they be direct negotiations and the question of transition of authority, as is mentioned in Geneva 1, will it be a priority in these negotiations? Thank you. Um, Mr. Al Brahimi, what I said is we hope the convoys will enter tomorrow. I also said that the armed uh, individuals in the uh, old city of Homs told us and told others that they will not uh, stop uh, the convoys. I also said that uh, our UN uh, colleagues in uh, Damascus spoke with the governor of Homs and the decision is not taken yet. As to speak of tomorrow, let us wait and see. Let us start, and then we tell you what happened. Jonathan, AFP. Uh, Jonathan Fowler, um, AFP. Uh, in 1995, under international auspices, the city of Srebrenica in Bosnia um, fell. There was filtering by um, the military around the city. Lists of names were provided, and the men were taken away and uh, killed. Do you not fear that by um, drafting lists, providing lists to one side or the other in the conflict, um, this could actually recreate a kind of Srebrenica situation? That fear, and I, I hope that it, uh, uh, I mean, no, I don't think we have that fear. Uh, horrible things are happening in Syria. We don't want uh, anything like Srebrenica in addition to all that. Okay. We'll take three more questions. The gentleman here. Yeah. Okay. Feras Mardini from Sana Satellite TV. Sama Satellite TV. Mr. El Brahimi, can you describe to us the mood of the two parties? Have, do you feel they wanted to continue or are they hesitating? 
Mr. Al Brahimi. In fact, I am happy because, in general, there is mutual respect and they are aware of the fact that this attempt is very important and must continue. We hope that this mood, as you uh, described it, will continue and we will achieve progress gradually. Middle, yeah. Shukran. Thank you. Microphone to the speaker. Mr. Al Ibrahimi, and this afternoon, Anas Al Abda spoke with the media and said there is no party in Syria that has a decision on behalf of all units combating on the ground. My question is, how can you get guarantees from the coalition since we speak of abductees and uh, detainees? Uh, how can they give you guarantees to release those kidnapped, uh, and they are thousands of them, by armed groups? Madam, I said that the coalition here said that it will try to group names from the various parties that they can control or that they have a contact with. They know, uh, and we know, that unfortunately there are many parties, and some of them, there is no contact with them at all. Therefore, we do not know who is kidnapped, who has died. It's extremely difficult, but hopefully we will get a number, we hope a large number, uh, relatively to the uh, people who have been abducted uh, or detained, and gradually, God willing, the issue will be solved. The two last questions. First, Ilya Itarta. Uh, Mr. Brahimi. Uh, tomorrow, they will be, what will be uh, exactly uh, discussed tomorrow? Because they were uh, they were information that will be begin political part, and what in, if it's true? What will happen with humanitarian issues? Whether they will be uh, discussed uh, in parallel, or what uh, what will be the working format? Thank you. You know, uh, this is a political uh, negotiation. Everything we discuss is political. So uh, tomorrow, as, as you know, uh, on the first day, uh, nobody made a, an opening statement. Only I did. So I think tomorrow I expect the two parties to make some general statement about the way forward. Uh, and the, the uh, uh, humanitarian thing is, you know, being, uh, I mean, the, our, our, our uh, uh, negotiation is not the main uh, place where humanitarian issues are, are discussed. Uh, but I think we all felt, and the two parties felt uh, also, that uh, you cannot uh, start a negotiation about Syria without having some discussion uh, about the uh, very, very bad uh, humanitarian situation that exists. Okay. The last question, the gentleman here in the middle, yes, with the white hair. Uh, Microphone, please. Uh, Mr. Al Ibrahimi, Samir Youssef from uh, Sham FM radio station. There are certain uh, fears that these uh, negotiations will collapse because the coalition delegation cannot implement what might be decided upon. Uh, uh, do you think of expanding this delegation? and to allow the participation of other factions of the opposition in order to implement the agreements. Secondly, 
Are we still taking half steps or are we beyond that? Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. El Ibrahim. God willing, tomorrow uh, I'll give you uh, your turn. You did not give me an answer. Yes, I did, said Mr. El Ibrahim.